the challenge of the Yukon. Hun King! Hun Yu Husky! <laughs> the Wonder Dog King, swiftest and strongest of Eskimo lead dogs, blazes the trail through storm and snow for Sergeant Preston as he meets the challenge of the Yukon. <laughs> Sergeant Preston was typical of the small band of Northwest Mounted Police who preserved law and order in a new Northwest country where the greed for wealth and power led to frequent violence and bloodshed. But in spite of the odds against them, Sergeant Preston and his wonder dog king met that challenge and justice ruled triumphant. Father Donovan had just arrived in Selkirk. He was a big man with merry blue eyes that twinkled a bit as he talked with Dan Riley in the lobby of the Gold Nugget Hotel. Don't worry, Riley. We men of the church are used to rough living. We aren't made of glass. Well, I thought a word of warning to you wouldn't hurt. The average prospector ain't exactly a plaster saint. Well, even though a man may forget the church for a while, he may sometimes feel the need of God. John O'Rourke must have felt it, leaving $30,000 to establish a mission in Dawson. He owned the Horseshoe Bar. Religion was the last thing you'd have connected him with. And then he leaves the church $30,000. Mercy on us, what's that? Oh, probably just a fight. There's a saloon just two doors down. It ain't unusual. Come on, let's see what happens. Shot Jake West. Where does Buck go? I don't know. What happened, boys? Jake West has been shot. Ah, ah, look out, everybody. Get away from Jake. That's his lead dog. Be careful of that husky. He's vicious. He's an over Jake. We're going to have to shoot him if we want to get Jake out of there. He won't let nobody near him. Jake's an enchanter. Might as well shoot Jake if you shoot Lobo. Jake thinks more of that animal than he does himself. It's no difference. If we don't shoot that dog, we can't get near Jake. He'll plead to death. If he don't freeze first. I'm going to plug him. Hey, wait a moment. Maybe I can help. Who are you? Uh, this is Father Donovan. He just came to tell me. Oh, I'm sorry, Father. I know how to handle dogs. Perhaps I can get him away. But Lobo's a vicious husky, Father. He'll tear you to pieces. Don't take a chance, Father. I'll shoot him. Let me try it first. Father Donovan, no! I'm not afraid. Steady, Lobo. We can't let your master lie here in the snow. Come now, boy. We're not going to hurt him. Dog will take his hand. All right, Lobo. You see? Here's my hand open to you. Now, you see, I'm not hurting you. I won't hurt your master. Come, boy, get off him. Let me take hold of your collar. Now, now, boy, steady. Come on, this way, fella. He's getting him off. Well, I've never seen anything like that. Only one other man could do that. Sergeant Preston. Come on, Lobo. Come along. We'll let you get back to him when it's time. All right, boys, carry the man into the hotel. I'll hold this dog. All right, Father. Jake's hurt bad, ain't he? Bad enough. Buck James better not show his face around this part of the country after doing that. Buck James had headed north. His goal, a small cabin isolated well off the trail near Dawson. His provisions were running low, and he paced the floor nervously on the third night of his hiding out. What the? Here, Buck. Let me in. Yeah, let me in, Buck. Here, how'd you know I was here? Where else could you be? That's where you always head after any trouble. Yeah, I brought some grub. How's Jake West? Is he... Did I... You didn't kill him, but it was close. Yeah, it's too bad I didn't finish him. Well, you would have, but it done for an old padre who happened to be there. He saved Jake's life. Doc was out of town. Padre? Yeah, he's going to Dawson. Some prospector up there left him $30,000 to start a mission. $30,000? Yeah, can you imagine that? When did he start to Dawson? He was leaving the day after I left. He'll be coming by in a day or so. <sighs> With $30,000, we could head for the border. Well, of course, Buck, he is a priest. What's the difference? We're watching that trail starting tomorrow. Father Donovan, a gun held on him, faced Buck James and Pierce Reed quietly in the small cabin. I told you I have no money on me outside what's in this purse. You sure he ain't wearing a money belt, Pierce? Sure, I searched him. He ain't got it on him. All right, Padre. How about the money to start the mission in Dawson? Where is it? So that's why you've done this. 
Well, boys, I have lots of faith in human nature, and I'm not a timid man. But I know better than to go around this country carrying that much money. It's waiting for me in Dawson. Oh, huh? Yes, we ordered a tell there. So now, if you'll let me be on oh, my no, way... Oh, no, you I... don't sit down. We ain't through with you. But, Burke, I ain't letting him go and have him squeal on us the minute he gets to Dawson. But I don't know who you are. There are many men in the Yukon with black beards and blue eyes like yours. We shouldn't have done this, Buck. My beard. Nobody gets if I shaved it off. What are you talking about? Nobody knows the Padre here. Nobody in Dawson knows me. I'm changing clothes with him, Pierce. Shaving off my beard. With the papers he's carrying, my collar turned around like his, I can still get my hands on that $30,000. Mark, are you local? With the same size, his clothes will fit me. You're staying here to guard him, Pierce. I'm going to Dawson. After I get my hands on the money, I'll come back and we'll finish him off. As Sergeant Preston talked to Dan Riley and Selkirk, his big lead dog, King, sat beside him, his head on the mountain's knee. I wish you could have got here in time to meet Father Dunham, Sergeant. You and him would have had a lot in common with your love for dogs. You must know a lot about them, Dan, to handle Lobo the way he did. He told me afterwards that a dog can sense fear in a man. You're afraid he can smell it. That's true. A dog knows the scent of fear. King hates it. I've seen him growl and bristle at strangers for that reason alone. Uh, Father Donovan loves dogs, and they seem to know it. Oh? He has a grand sense of humor. He said he was as much veterinarian in his last parish as he was a priest. All the kids used to bring their dogs to him for repairs, and he mended as many animals as he did souls. <laughs> Too bad I didn't get here a day earlier. I have to go up to Dawson. I could have taken him with me. Now you be sure and look him up when you get there. He's the kind of man you'd like, broad-minded, kind, and understanding. Idea for the job he's planning to do. I'm leaving for Dawson tomorrow. I'll make it a point to meet him. I'd like to see what he thinks of King. Hello, Jane. Sergeant Preston, welcome to Dawson. We have not seen you for a long time. Hello, King. How's business, Jane? Oh, there is always too much at these trading posts. I hear Dawson's going to have a mission. Did Father Donovan get here all right? We. Oui. He is here. Do you know him? No, but I hear he's a fine man. Oh? You don't sound too enthusiastic. Don't you like him? Well, me, I, I don't like to say nothing bad about man of God, but, well, everybody is, uh, well, well, disappointed. Disappointed? He is silent man. Solemn. I never see him smile. Is he planning to build the mission right away? We. Oui. He asked me to give him the $30,000 John O'Rourke has left. Tomorrow he will move from the hotel to his cabin. Then he will take it. I'd like to meet him. I think I'll go over to the hotel. Come on, King. I'll be back later, Pierre. Yes? Father Donovan? Yes. I'm Sergeant Preston, Northwest Mounted. What do you want? Why, uh... Dan Riley and Selkirk told me to look you up here in Dawson. Oh. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, come in. Come on, King. King, what's the matter with you? Quiet, King. Well, I hope you'll excuse him, Father Donovan. I don't know what ails him. Well, uh, would you mind putting him out, Sergeant? I, I'm not used to these huskies you have here in the Yukon. But I thought... Oh, of course. Come on, King. You wait out here in the hall, fellow. I hope you don't mind. No, not at all, Father. I suppose being a priest, you are not used to dogs. <laughs> That's right. We, we're we too busy with our church duties to have time for pets. I see. Um, sit down, Sergeant. Thank you. I can't stay. I just dropped in to say hello. You uh, going to be in town long? No, just passing through. Oh, oh I, I see. Guess you'll have quite a big job here in Dawson, Father. Yes, it will be hard. Trying to close the saloon stop gambling won't be easy. And it will be dangerous. Perhaps I'd better stay around for a while. It won't be necessary. I don't intend to start until after the mission is completed. How often do you make this this patrol? I'll be back in about a month, Father. Well, I'd better get going. Have to get some sleep. I want to pull out in the morning. It was nice meeting you, Sergeant, and uh, stop and see me the next time you come to Dawson. I'm uh, sure we'll meet again, Father Donovan. You are back so soon, Sergeant. You did not make very long visits. No, I had a little trouble with King. 
She didn't seem to like the new padre. Oh? And you, what did you think of him? Well, like you, Gene, I was uh, disappointed. You say he's moving into a cabin tomorrow? Wait. Oui. It belongs to Tom Jacobs at Edge of Town. Oh, yes, I know where that is. Sergeant, maybe you can tell him that is the only place. Better he should leave this money here and safe. No, Gene, I think you'd better give him the money. After all, he has the right to do what he pleases with it. Well, maybe with you here in town, it is safe. I'm leaving, Gene. But, Sergeant, you are leaving. Or something I... rather urgent's come up. I'll see you in a few days. Come on, King. <laughs> Sergeant Preston, his lead dog, King, at his side, lay concealed in a thicket that topped a small knoll overlooking the cabin that had been rented by the man thought to be Father Donovan. The early darkness had fallen, but a bright moon lighted up the clearing. Suddenly, King's ears pricked forward, and a low growl rumbled in his throat as a figure stole out of the cabin door. Quiet, boy. Not a sound. There he goes. No, King. Down. We're following later. Steady. Let him get ahead. Pierce yawned as he watched Father Donovan, who sat near the stove, deep in thought. It's way past bedtime, Father Donovan. Now put your hands behind you. I'm tying you up. It was nice of you, Pierce, to free my hands for a while. They were getting numb. Where did I put that rope? Mark! I didn't hear you coming. Did you get the money? Yeah. Start packing right away. We're leaving. What about the Padre? Uh, There's only one thing to do. I, I don't like murder, Buck. It ain't a question of what you like. Well, Father, I guess it's the end. You want to take it standing up or sitting down? Standing up. And looking right at you. Think that'll make it tough for me, do you? <laughs> now, nah, it'll just make it easier to hit you between the eyes. Got that gun. Get him, Jay. What the... No, no, no. no. Oh, you don't. Oh, you don't. All right, King, back, fella. I've got his gun. Now, get up, you. Watch him, boy. You're, you're a Murphy. Yes. And you must be Father Donovan. I am. I wasn't sure, Father. That wallop you gave Pierce. I didn't think a priest could hit he like that. He was about to shoot your dog. Sometimes even the church finds force necessary. Well, if you hadn't hit Pierce, I'd have had to shoot him. You saved his life. And you saved mine. You and that dog. That dirty cur. Quiet, you. It was because of King, Father Donovan, that I knew this man to be a fraud. I hoped by following him that he'd lead me to you. King had no trouble in trailing him. He looks like a wonderful animal. You'll find that he is, Father, when you know him better. <laughs> All right, boy, I'll take charge of the prisoner. You go on over and get acquainted with Father Donovan. <laughs> These copyrighted dramas originate in the studios of WXYZ Detroit. And all characters, names, places, and incidents used are fictitious. They are sent to you each week at the same time and reach you from our transcription studios. Hal Neal speaking. <laughs>